Maria Antonio de Paz y Figueroa, known as Mama Antula, was a Catholic nun from Argentina who was an early defender of human rights. This is a short biography of her life. She was born in modern-day Argentina in 1730. Her family was rich and powerful, and she had a privileged upbringing. Even as a girl, she had a strong personality. She told her father that she refused to get married and left her comfortable life at the age of 15 in order to devote herself to God. There was no active cloistered religious life in Argentina at this time, so she decided to wear a black robe and live with other women in a small community as a consecrated laywoman. She devoted her time to helping parents instruct their children while also helping the sick and poor and practicing needlework. She worked alongside the local Jesuits. In 1767, Charles III of Spain expelled the Jesuits from Argentina. She continued promoting Ignatian spirituality even though the political climate was very hostile. She established spiritual retreats and welcomed all people to participate, regardless of their gender, class, or profession. Even enslaved people were welcome at her retreats. According to Jesuits.org, where others at the time saw slaves, natives, and peasants as objects to be used and discarded, Mama Antula saw people capable of great spiritual connection and deserving of care. She walked from town to town to organize these retreats, enduring the trials of travel with good humor. She maintained a joyful disposition, and she had a great devotion to St. Philip Neri, the Saint of Joy. Her work became known across Argentina and even as far away as France. Her letters were translated into other languages and sent to various countries and used as spiritual inspiration. Her travels brought her to Buenos Aires, where she established a house for spiritual exercises. The house led retreats, but also focused on education, helping the sick, and aiding former convicts with reintegration into society. She died on March 7, 1799, at the age of 69. Her sainted cause was opened in 1905. Multiple miracles have been attributed to her intercession. One miracle involved an old friend of Pope Francis named Claudio Parasini. Claudio first met the Pope when he was 17, and Pope Francis made a 30-egg omelette for him and five other travelers. Pope Francis later became his spiritual director. Claudio suffered a severe stroke in 2017, and doctors thought he would either die or live in a vegetative state. His family prayed to Mama Angela for help, and another friend, Bishop Ernesto Giobando, gave the family an image of Mama Angela for Claudio's bedside. Claudio eventually recovered from his ordeal, and he was able to travel to Rome for the canonization of Mama Angela. She was canonized on February 11, 2024, becoming Argentina's first female saint. Her feast day is on March 7th.